Hello everyone, my name is Ashok. Uh, welcome to the series of videos uh, focused on pandas, Python pandas library tips and tricks. In this video, I would begin with one of the uh, problems we recently um, uh, solved for reading multiple files or uh, into a data frame. The project is for ITSM, IT service management client. And they have a huge log files uh, in actually thousands. All right. So what I mean to say is, if you look at this, it's a sample files of that. I've taken few of the files. Um, if you look at the files, you'll see that there are some server logs in it. Okay, there's a server logs in it. All right. And um, typically, if you want to load this in pandas, you should be doing something like this. Let me open up a new pandas. A Python file. I think that's clear enough. Um, let me import pandas. And I'm going to say data is equal to read pd.readcsv. That's a function we use for reading CSV files. And uh, let me just take any of the log files. Okay, great. So we are we managed to load one file. Okay, and again, we need to do, I will call it as data 1 or maybe data 15 feb because I need to identify this and then I need to again load another file which is 16th feb for example. So I'm going to rename it into 16th feb. Great work. Well, again, I need to load 17th feb which is just renaming it great and then i could simply concat all the files by using concat function just like this concat and i can just put data 15 comma data 16 comma data 17 and here we go Let me look at the first 40 files. Excellent. So we have concatenated. Uh, the numbers are getting not repeated. So we can simply say ignore index for this as a standard function in concat. <coughs> ignore index is equal to true. Then you get a nice data of February 15, 16, also 17. We are only looking at the top 40 records over here. Great. It works. No problem. But what if if you have tens of files what if you have hundreds sometimes if you are looking for a few years it's in thousands of files it's just not gonna work the another way of doing things is maybe more effective way is by using glob in built library i'm gonna make some space i'm going to import glob uh, from glob import glob Glob is an inbuilt library which contains um, primarily the functions to read your Active Directory and load all the files. For example, I can say Glob can read the pattern. So I can say files is equal to Glob and I'm going to simply say anything which starts with a log after that whatever it is, I want to load it in the files. If you look at my files now, I'll have all the files which is in my folder being properly loaded like this great uh, it would be nice if it's in a sorted order so i can i'm gonna simply say sort it then look at my files now it's properly sorted we have 15 you can see 16 17 18 19 excellent all right then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write one statement data is equal to pd concat and then rather than putting in a lot of files, I'm going to simply say um, pd read csv and I'll say file here, just a file for file in files. That's all. And of course, I also say ignore true. You run it. <coughs> Anything missing? A generalized it must be a parenthesized. Is it? Okay. All 
Oh, my apologies. So all of these can get my apologies. So as you can see here, you need to put these things in one um, parenthesis, basically pass, passing a list. This should work. Okay, done. Okay, then let me look at like top 50, 60 files and see. Is Feb 15, 16 and 17 of 2018, 17, okay. So I am able to read all of these five files in one go by using um, glob, right? basically populating all the files as a list, file name as a list. Then simply running a, a inline for loop, that solves my problem. Now this one single line, or maybe I would say uh, this, this, three lines together, if I wanna put it in one, single cell one two three lines together can read any number of files so if you have thousand files no problem it can be read in a go so this is very helpful when you're reading multiple files um, many number of file number of files just like what we have here as a log files and and put it everything in one data frame okay hope this is helpful so i wanted to record more of these tips and uh, tricks which we encounter in solving projects um, sometimes um, there are certain things which we can't even do it we will write the functions by ourselves to solve the problems all of this i would like to share it if you like this initiative if you want more videos please subscribe and also click the notification button um, so that if i when i upload a video you get a notification great thank you very much i'll see you in the next video